Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about mean absolute error and mean square error. Uh, so the two functions are very important uh, for measuring the performance of your machine learning model. What is mean absolute error? In statistics, mean absolute error is a measure of errors between paired observations that expressing the same phenomenon. For example, uh, just uh, measuring the y versus x that includes comparisons of predicted versus observed. So uh, this, this function is very important to measure the performance or the accuracy of your machine learning model. So after implementing or predicting the uh, uh, data, then if you may implement um, uh, more than two machine learning models, then uh, to, make, to make a conclusion about your uh, model, which model is better uh, that performing uh, the prediction or the, uh, which one is better uh, uh, based on the mean absolute error. So uh, to implement this uh, mean absolute errors, uh, I'm going to show you how you can implement uh, this function in Python. Actually, you can uh, simply use uh, uh, scikit-learn model uh, library uh, without implementing uh, any uh, Python programming or writing any Python programming, but uh, knowing or uh, understanding the function, how it works. So that is better uh, to understand the function. Okay, this is a mathematically uh, represented uh, function of mean absolute error. The mean absolute error is the summation of the difference of the true, I mean, the predicted value and the true values and divided by the total number of data points you have. So the terminology, MA means mean absolute error and yi is a prediction, or uh, y hat, xi is the true value, and n is the total number of data points you have. Then how we, you can implement this function using Python without using any Python library. So uh, just define the function MA, take us two parameters, uh, the y true, the list of uh, values, as a uh, y true and y hat is the predicted values. Then <clears throat> uh, comparing the lengths or the shape of the two values, lengths of uh, y true is equal to lengths of y hat, as, uh, unless and otherwise you cannot uh, just find the errors of your uh, true values and predicted values. Okay, then sum up, uh, summing the absolute errors of y minus y hat for every y and y hat in a zip of y true and y hat. Then divided by the total data point or the length of y true. Y true is the true uh, data point, the true data point. So this is uh, the function where you are going to implement using Python. Then return the errors once you implement it and the if a statement is correct, you have equal number of values in both uh, uh, variable. Then if, if not, it just returns the shape is not equal. That is take us two dimensional uh, array. Okay, then we are going to just uh, call the function and uh, test the equation. Uh, let us assume you have a data pointers, list of data pointers or paired uh, data pointers uh, in tuple. Each uh, tuple is a paired data pointers. Just we are going to separate the true values from this list of uh, paired values. Just create a new list from that for every point in the pointers. Uh, take 
the first element from a uh, tuple because this is uh, considered as one item from a list. But uh, from this uh, tuple, just take the first item uh, in the list. So all the first item from the tuples uh, going to be the list of true value. All right, what about uh, the predicted value? So we are going to just predict the data pointers or the true values of our data pointers. Uh, just take the first item from uh, the list of tuples, the first item, and for every data point. From that, we are going to just predict. To predict, uh, this is the mathematically uh, ec uh, mathematically represent to predict the data point. That is 1.2 times the data point, the value of the data point for each uh, value from the list plus two. We add two after multiplying the x value by 1.2 and Finally, we add two. That is the predicted values of the data point. So the list of y hat or predicted values going to be uh, appended in the an MBT list. Finally, we just pass the list of true uh, values and list of predicted values into the function mean absolute error. The mean absolute error going to be uh, find the errors of the two data, uh, the two values, then uh, comparing the result is a higher, just uh, run this, that is uh, around three, uh, according to this data pointers, the mean square uh, absolute error is 3.88. How can we define uh, our model in this case? Once you calculate the mean square, uh, the mean absolute error, uh, so how can you define uh, your model is perfect or not? Actually, the values of the range of the values of the mean absolute error is, is uh, from zero out to infinity. That is the positive infinity. Uh, so which is better if the mean absolute error is higher or lower? Uh, according to the definition of mean absolute error, that is error, which means the error is high. We can generally understand that the error is uh, high. The model is not, which is the model is not uh, perfect. So uh, even to uh, say that the error is uh, zero, the model is perfect. So we can just, uh, our model is uh, perfect. So the lower the uh, mean absolute error, the model is better. That is the definition of mean absolute error. Because that error, uh, error is high, which means the model is not perfect, which means the model is not accurate. Don't use that model. Actually, based on the comparison, if you implement uh, one more uh, models, then you can just compare based on mean absolute error and implement the better uh, the better performed. Uh, model based on the mean absolute error. What about the second uh, function? The second function is mean squared error. This is another function that's going to measure the, uh, the errors of your model. In statistics, the mean squared error or mean squared deviation of an estimator measures the average of the squares of the errors. Just the average of the squares of the errors. That is, the average squared difference between the estimated values and the actual value. The estimated values means the predicted values and the actual value means the true value. So just uh, finding the average squared errors between the predicted values and the actual or true values. Based on that, we can uh, conclude which uh, model is better to uh, implement uh, in your data. Mean squared error is a risk function corresponding to the expect, uh, expect, uh, expected value of the squared error loss. This is the mathematically represented uh, function. The summation of the difference of the 
true value and uh, predicted value square divided by the double of the total number of uh, uh, data points table. Okay, Mathematica, we can just implement this function using uh, uh, Python. The difference, what is the difference between mean squared error and mean absolute error? The difference between mean absolute error is that in mean squared error, we have to square the difference between the true and y hat or predicted points and double the denominator, which means doubling the total number of data points in the denominator. All right, that is the difference. So we just find the squared error, the deviation of the squared error. So this is the summation function, just y minus y hat squared for every uh, data point in the y hat and the true value and uh, predicted value in zip of y true and y hat divided by two times the total number of true points. That is, this is just the difference is the function you are going to implement in this uh, uh, tutorial. Okay, just we use the same data pointers we have used earlier to implement mean absolute error and just fi uh, find separate the true values from our data pointers and the same function. The difference is the same procedure we are going to use here. The difference is the function to calculate the errors, the function. All right. Uh, then we get 10.69. That is the squared error. The squared error, uh, we get 3.88 in mean absolute error. So the square of 3.88 is around 10 point something. So that is the square of the mean absolute error. The square, simply we can just say. That is the mean square error. And is it higher or lower mean square error is better? Well, this is error. If the error is high, the model is low, not better. Definitely uh, insufficient. So, the better the model, the mean square and the absolute error uh, is lower or uh, zero is perfect. If the two function, the values of the, uh, the result of the two functions uh, is zero, the model is perfect. So this is uh, the way how you can implement uh, mean absolute error and mean square error to uh, find the errors of your model to measure the performance or the accuracy of your machine learning models. Thanks for watching.